All right, happy Friday afternoon, everybody. July 21st. I took a nap this morning, but Miss Tammy didn't because we've got two little swimmers with us. Water's 77 degrees. It's cold. Good job, guys. Good job, Bentley. You getting? I'll stay for a minute. I'm gonna sit in her chair, though. <laughs> so I'm gonna get in the truck and get them last two loads of grain hauled. That's the plan for today. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Oh yeah, this would ain't bad. Okay, let's take a look at everything. Fuel filter levels down low, so that means it's good. Look at all the injection stuff, DPF stuff. Filter minder's good. Belt looks good. Filters are all good. I need to change oil in it. I got plenty of coolant. Where can I stick you guys? Engine oil's good. You got to change it one of these days. We get done hauling wheat, I'll change it. Looks like the uh, master cylinder clutch is a little low. I'll have to figure out what that needs and get some for it. Everything else looks pretty good, though. All right. And this one, you gotta you basically get her close and slam it. Click, click, click.
Marcus, you be a good boy. I'll be back. first loading back and unloaded the grain cart the trailer and everything else and I stopped over here at Fuel Mart and got me a, a Gatorade and a, and a Hershey bar and I realized I never even turned the camera on but anyway first load went good um what do we have 900 916 bushels 82,000 pounds so we're close to legal actually we were legal coming off the farm because they allow you seven and a half percent over so i don't know what seven and a half percent of eighty thousand is probably six thousand or something like that so we were legal on that load i just got grain in the front hopper on this one so last of the farm last of the field last of the last field so yeah we're going well this ain't good i got a stop signal so level critical high so i got to figure out what to do with this thing so ATS service water engine d rate active request parked regen regen failed check status menu Talked to Kirk, and he heard through the grapevine, I'm not going to say who, but they told him that if you unplug your tail shaft sensor, the truck doesn't know how fast it's going, so it'll let it run. 
I did that, I took off, shifted up through a few gears, and it died. So, started it back up, took off again, and it died. So I'm at an exit ramp, so I'm off the main road, but I'm on an exit ramp. So he's on his way with his pickup truck, he's been on his way. So I got a strap out, so I am going to unhook this, crawl back under there, and uh, plug that sensor back in on the tail shaft, speedometer basically. Because I changed it last year. The speedometer sensor went bad. Ugh. Yeah, all this, uh, all this emission stuff is great. It makes everything better. Yeah, it's good for the environment. Makes things run better. Everything else, yeah. Look at me. I'm sitting on the side of the road because of the damn admission stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Relax. This thing right here, that is a diesel particulate filter. Probably $10,000 to get this truck running again now. Anyway. Ran over. And I love laying underneath the vehicle on the side of the road. Like I said, though, I am, I am uh, off the main road on the exit ramp. So, there's that sensor right there. So anyway, it'll still start and idle, I think. So, I'm going to, Kirk's going to bring his truck and We are going to right side I got it unloaded right you got to look at the bright side on things like this ain't nothing I can do about it getting mad is not gonna make it better sit there because there's nothing magnetic. Hang on. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. Oh, now you're going to... Sure, it's nice. 
too, but we got about 20 miles to go, so I'm looking out here and pay attention. All right, well, we got it out there. Kirk ended up pulling me in, got her in the driveway there, was able to back it up, stalled a couple times, but got her backed in uh, where we think they wanted it. Actually unhooked the trailer off of it, pulled the truck just out from underneath of it. Went around and left a note with the keys and throwed them in through an exhaust hole into the service bays. I'll call them first thing tomorrow morning. So stopped at Defiance and went to Arby's, got a bite to eat. It's now 9.25, Kirk was bringing me home. I said, well, we might as well stop and get your grain cart. It was still sitting down there at my brother's. I said, we'll get your grain cart and take it home and I'll just follow you over there before you actually take me home. So that is what we are doing. That thing's a beast. She's a fat bottom girl. So, anyway, this will be it for Friday. Good day, got everything on wheels and got everything unloaded. Bad day for truck parts, though, I guess. I guess we'll see what goes on. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.